Hi, welcome back to Lightning Problem Solving, where you'll always get the latest manufacturing tips to make your company be the best in your industry. Today's topic is cultural transformation. If you want to transform the entire culture of your company, the biggest thing you need is a vision. If you don't have a vision or a mission statement, your company's culture will never change. Or if you have a mission statement, but no one takes hold of it, your company will never change. And one person cannot change the culture of the whole company. But one person can ignite the fire that will burn through the entire organization. I'm a visionary by nature. My company's vision is to be the best in everything we do. We want to provide our clients with the best services, the best training, and the best techniques that they can't find anywhere else. We want to be the best in ethics and honor so our clients can know that they can depend on us. For our clients, we want to do our best so they can become the best in their industry. Now, if you're a visionary like me, vision comes easy to you. But in order for vision to spread throughout the company, you need support in your organization. The more support you have, the faster the flame will grow. Once you have a mission statement and you have support to spread it through the company, the next thing you need is follow-up. Every meeting can start with the company's mission statement to keep your meetings focused. Next, you need focused small groups working at specific goals. For example, if your goal is lean manufacturing, you can have one team designated to focus on reducing scrap and possibly a different team focusing on warranty and maybe a third group working on machine efficiency and scheduling. This helps people have accountability. The next crucial thing is visual targets and visual progress reports. The visual displays need to communicate the plan to success. When people see the company's vision right in front of their eyes every day, it's very motivating. And when they also see visuals of their progress towards the goal, it's even more motivating. If you need help setting targets, I have a whole video devoted to setting targets. And if your goal is reducing scrap or solving warranty projects, I have videos on those topics as well. You can check them out if you need ideas. Now you have a clearly defined mission, plenty of support, and everyone understands their goals and can see their progress. So the next thing I normally implement is layered process audits. The first layer starts with all the people that own the issue. They might audit the process four times a day. And the next layer would be the supervisors. They might audit the process twice a day. The next layer is the area manager. He or she might audit the process once a day. The quality team might also audit the process once a day. And the plant manager might audit the process once a week. And so on. Layered process audits require discipline if you want them to succeed. Anything that the process is lacking can be added to the layered process audits. Cultural transformation needs to stay simple, but keep repeating and communicating. Repeat, communicate, repeat, communicate, repeat, communicate. Also, don't bite off more than you can chew. You can't fix everything in just one week. Make sure your goals are appropriate and achievable. Once you have something fixed, make sure you put controls in place so it does not deteriorate. When an organization reaches a certain level and then deteriorates, it's twice as hard to bring it back to the same level it was before. Because everyone in the organization will remind themselves, oh, don't worry about it. We'll just work on this for two months and it'll go back to normal. One final warning I have for you is to be extremely careful not to give incentives. Cultural transformation cannot last on incentives because when will the incentives end? If this video has helped you, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any lightning problem solving pointers. Thanks so much for watching and remember, be the best.